Uh, very good afternoon. It's a little odd for a doctor to be in an engineering college. So I say we are like husband and wife. Uh, we, without technology, doctors can't do much. So we, we, we are all bounded with each other. Which, which year are we in? Which, which year are we in at present? Come on, which year are we in? Yeah, it's 2024, right? So this is a picture from one of the Indian states from Nagaland where people still eat the heads of goats because they believe that their diseases will be cured once they drink the blood of the goat after uh, getting the goat slaughtered and drink that blood that, that is considered very pious for them. So, so what, I, I always have this question, what, what do you want, what do you people want to be? Rich? Yeah. All of you want to be rich, right? Happy? Healthy? Can rich make you all these things? Can, can richness bring you happiness, health? I'll get back to that. You know him? You know him, the great man? Steve Jobs, how rich he can be. Can you imagine how rich he was? Come on here, yeah. it, it has to be interactive. How, how rich he was? Maybe billions of dollars? When did he die? What age did he die? He died at a mere age of 45 by a pancreatic cancer. So richness itself can't give you health. Who is he, the great singer, which we know? Bob Marley, one of the f iconic band players. When did he die? 35? He had a lung cancer. So, richness is not the answer for health. What is this? We, we, we all experienced this event few, few years back in the country, all over the world. We are all going through COVID. Suddenly we realized health is very important. So, the more the healthy you are, you can achieve maximum in your life. And again, all of us want to be happy. What is happiness? Is it, is it something somewhere it is defined? Happiness is defined by someone? So I'll tell you one thing. When I finished my MBBS, I was just working under some uh, senior doctor like an intern for a short period of time. My first month's salary, he gave me 10,000 rupees. Uh, he gave me in cash. He gave the whole amount in cash. That time he used to give it in 100 rupee notes. So it was, it was like a big bundle which I got in my hand. So I kept it in my pocket and I used to ride a bike that time. The pocket was looking very heavy. It, it was looking as if, it was looking very heavy. Everyone was looking around me when I was walking, like he's carrying something. So then I, I sat on my bike, I was driving home. I was keep on looking at the pocket because it was looking very heavy. I felt like with this money, I can buy whole Hyderabad today. I was so happy, like I achieved something major in my life. So it's, it's all our perspective, what we take it, take it as. Being rich, being, being having a owner of billions of dollars doesn't make us happy. It's all in ourselves, love each other. So coming to the topic, redefining origins. I asked you again, we are in 2024, but our medical science still, still is very, very far behind. One way we see it very advanced, another way we see so many things which are still at a grassroots level. This is one recent story which would, we would have all read. This is a villager who carried a lady, a pregnant lady, on her shoulders for 18 kilometers in Jammu and Kashmir to reach a hospital because there were no roads for the ambulance to come. Then there is another story where a UP man carries her mother to a hospital who dies on the way on a stretcher because again he doesn't have access to the healthcare system. We are again in 2024. So now when coming to these famous personalities, you all know them? They are all what? They are all cancer survivors?
you know him our hero yuvraj singh he survived a cancer a major mediastinal cancer he is rich again he is rich okay he could that's why he could survive it so now we are in viksit bharat our pm says we are in viksit bharat we are going head to head with the countries so before covid came india didn't know what was ppe we didn't know what is personal protective equipment there was not even one center in india which used to produce a ppe but now we are the largest ppe exporters in the world come on yeah we should be the, we we should be proud of it so it's all what it's all again technology as i said we uh, doctors and engineers are all like husband and wife we, we can't be separated <laughs> so we need you people so why, why is there is always a say like i am superior you are superior but i will say a first artificial heart work was done by robert jonick from germany he was a renowned engineer again the x rays which we see roentgen he was a physicist then the stethoscope which we say as the armor for a doctor is coined by rene lenek he is again an engineer so we give you our thoughts you design see engineering is black and white medicine is like a rainbow so engineering is we give you the problems you solve the problems you give us the solutions so we are always again associated so when we come to that the redefining the origins we have reached a place where now we don't do anything open we don't cut the patient open we do everything minimally invasive we do all major surgeries in brain or spine or any other thing we do it using a robo but again robo is also controlled by a human so it again comes down for the human experience and the human uh, talent which we all uh, hindsight to so these are few things which we do at our place the robotic uh, brain and spine surgeries so this is how a robo looks like it has all the hands like a human being but it has four we have only two it has four hands we can add on multiple hands to it how many ever small holes we can make out of it and remove the goddamn tumor out of the body so this is a humanoid robo which was unveiled in china recently so this tells us what exactly the disease it will just look at you it will scan your body and it will tell you which disease are you suffering from you need you don't need a doctor for it so it will tell you what what exactly are you suffering from and it will tell you even the solution for that so now when when i was in canada uh, for a pediatric fellowship at sick child hospital these days it's all about 3d printing everything you take into account it's all it's all about 3d printing so this man was having a severe facial deformity so we we made a 3d print out of he he had a burns injury his face was completely defigured we made a 3d print like this okay this figure is still dead so the 3d print was made using the robotic technology and now the man looks exactly like a print which we made for him so we could give a a debilitating man a face out of it this is a baby which i was fortunate to be involved in operating she has this facial deformity the whole nasal tissues were all coming out of her nose back there was no proper she could not breathe because of all that so we made a 3d model for the child like how to design her uh, face this is how she looks now once we made it and the smile that is that is like a million bucks so now now we are in a nanotechnology era where everything we put something inside our brain it it goes like a robo and eats up the tumor you will all know this man you know him you all know him leon musk all of you know so there is something called neuralink he says phones are useless now let's talk directly without phones he says there no phones are needed 
okay we we in, we put a chip inside your brain come to my center i'll put a chip inside your brain let's all think and let's tell i i am not talking to you but i can communicate with you through the link which i have developed like an app so i did not call you hey come here man i want to talk to you no he will come automatically running to you just once you think about it so just just see how beautiful the technology is so recently a chinese doctor sitting 5000 miles away using a robotic technology has removed a lung tumor from a patient sitting in a mere village in china one of the parts of china so this all it's all again neural linked we are all linked together we we all think it's a universe where we all think about multiple things put all the thoughts together and then give it out of our mouth this is one patient where we operated on you can see he is playing a guitar you would have heard these stories like where patients are playing guitars while we are operating on them so this patient has something called tremors where he will always be having movements he is a very brilliant guitar player he couldn't use his uh, music ability because of his tremors so when we were operating on him we were putting a small chip in his brain which will help him reduce that quality of tremors to come down so that he can so we were all entertained very well during the surgery in the ot he was singing all beautiful songs which ever he wanted to so now what, what is you would have heard of all the things all transplants in the world liver transplant lung transplant heart transplant have you ever heard of brain transplant how great it will be no An intelligent man's brain you can take and put on your head and you will be all be everyone will be very successful we can all take leon musk's brain and put it into us so so brain uh is very very complex A brain it's all connected with the spine with the vessels with the nerves so yes there are still trials going on where they have tried cutting the part of the nervous system then involving small small nerves attaching them but still very very trial phase which i feel it's not possible ever because brain and spine are very very complex so but in all this we are all talking about technology but the first thing when i was in a medical college my patient, my uh, professor told me when a patient comes to you make him home make him give a touch tell him you will be okay just seeing a scan or reading a report and telling him this is what i am going to do you do to you and send you home in 2 3 days is not going to heal him it's about healing so we miss that human touch so doctors these days forget that human touch we 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 just treat the patients we treat the scans the, even patients these days they send us the scans on whatsapp it's very easy sir this is the scan sir treatment sir are i have to see you sir not required sir just tell the treatment sir <laughs> so it's like that so the human touch is the most beautiful thing in the world a patient a doctor telling a patient you will be all right is half the disease gone so so again i'll telling you we are like husband and wife never forget that we are together in this do more innovations give us the facts we are going to help the patients thank you and thank you for inviting